Welcome everyone to Spark the Genius. I'm your host, Spark the Genius, and I'm here to spark the genius within you today within the, with the help of director Alain Peroni. Peroni. Peroni? Peroni. Peroni. P-A. All right. <clears throat> I said it well. And you're from Italy? Excellent. And your movie is An Endless Sunday. How do you say the movie in Italian? Eh, come si chiama? Eh, una sterminata domenica. Una sterminata? Una sterminata. Una sterminata? Domenica. Domenica. Domenica is a Sunday. Okay. And sterminata is endless. Great. Very but, nice. But in Italian, uh, sterminata, um, come si chiama? Una connotazione anche... It also has a negative. Exactly. Uh, a negative meaning. A is negative meaning? Yeah. Oh, so it's not a good thing? It's well, a violent it, it, thing. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> And um, the movie is about three young people. Is it two girls and a boy or two, two boys? boys? Alex and, and Kevin. Alex, okay. Kevin and, uh, and Brenda. And Brenda gets pregnant mm -hmm. by accident. Uh, oh. yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> but uh, I read that, um, you know, they decide they want to have kids. Uh, they want to be young and beautiful parents. You know, they want to have them while they're young. Um, is that from your own personal life? Have you seen people have kids young and they're happy about it? Sì, nella tua esperienza hai visto molti genitori adolescenti che sono felici di essere genitori così giovani? Sì, in realtà i miei genitori stessi. Mamma mi ha fatto che aveva 18 anni e papà ne aveva 20 e così hanno fatto anche subito i miei fratelli. In realtà da dove vengo molti ragazzi in realtà fanno figli dai 16 anni in poi. Yeah, in the area where I was brought up, actually, it's uh, quite common to have children young. My own parents had me very young. My mother was 18 and my father was 20. So it's wow. from a personal experience that I... That's cool because I'm, I'm old now and I don't have kids <laughs> and I wish I had had kids young. Um, do you have kids? No, no, no. Oh. Ah, yeah. film on <laughs> You've got the film is your baby? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, have you, how did you come up with the idea for the film? Come ti è venuta l'idea per il film? Dopo aver finito tutti gli studi scolastici e canonici, tutta l'educazione canonica, un po' mi sono trovato in quel vuoto in cui non avevo strumenti insomma, per affermarmi e ho cercato insomma, di, di cavalcare quel, quel sentimento con l'unico strumento che avevo che era il cinema e l'educazione audiovisiva. Mm -hmm. So after my studies, you know, I went through a conventional film school and after it all ended, I was kind of in a limbo where I had no tools to make my own mark and the only tool that I had at my disposal was the camera and all my knowledge from film school. So I put that into practice and came up with the product. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is it based on your life or a true story? Si basa su una fatta eh, di vita vera? Si basa su un vero sentimento. Poi le soluzioni sono state, soprattutto verso il finale, diciamo, la parte negativa di come sarebbe potuto andare. Mm -hmm. uh, it's based on true feelings, that's for sure. Uh, uh. But uh, yeah, especially towards the end, it kind of uh, steers into like, the negative direction uh. Uh. <laughs> of how things can go. Do you find in your life, are you an optimist and, or do you uh, tend to see the negative in things and get depressed? I get depressed all the time. Se hai degli episodi a volte negativi anche te nella vera vita di depressione o se sei più ottimista e cerchi sempre il lato positivo Diciamo che la generazione con cui cresciamo ci rende molto ambiziosi anche e veniamo spesso soffocati insomma come, come voce quindi diciamo che più che depressione diciamo che quel senso di, di emergere di lasciare un segno che è qualcosa che a volte si può alimentare anche negativamente però se uno ha uno strumento come quello del cinema in realtà poi la vive in maniera estremamente positiva mm -hmm. yeah in my, in my generation there's a lot of ambition uh, but often uh, the voice of the younger generations is kind of suffocated uh, and there's this anxiety to be able to emerge in society. Uh, but thanks to cinema, I believe that it can only be looked at in a positive way because the, the tool that I have to make a mark in this world is only but positive uh, through, through camera. What is your generation? How old are you? Uh, I am 31. 21? 
31? 31. Okay, so you're not too young, but you're not old. I'm 50. But, come dice, ma ho cercato, adesso ho 31 anni, ma ho cercato di mantenerne 20 fino a finire, fino alla fine del film. I tried to stay 20 years old up until I finished the film. Yeah. I, you know, in reality I'm 31, but I tried to stay young at heart. Yeah. <laughs> Until the end of the movie. Is it hard to remember how teenagers think and get into their heads? Sì, uh, so, um, aspetta, ripeti. È difficile entrare un po' nella mentalità dei sì, teenager abbiamo, del mondo infatti, di oggi. Infatti ho intervistato tantissimi ragazzi, più di 60 giovani ragazzi, e li andavo a intervistare anche a scadenza di due anni e quattro anni per vedere un po' come loro vivono e per non perdere quel contatto con quella fase della vita in cui veramente non sai perché stai al mondo. Mm, yeah, I interviewed so many kids um, every two years and then, you know, after in the fourth year from knowing them, so, you know, I try to get into their heads and see how they think uh, because obviously it's a time, a lesson when you really don't know why you're in this world and you're asking yourself so many questions. You, you uh, I, I read that uh, the kids in the in the movie or kids in general, they're always they go to bed with their phones in their hand, <laughs> with the TV still on. Do you find that kids today spend too much time on their phones? Do you wish we could be more in the world? The real world? <laughs> Quello di cui dobbiamo essere consapevoli è che l'audiovisivo è forse il genitore più grande per noi in questo momento, è quello che ci educa e ci fa riconoscere come stare al mondo, che ci ha insegnato a piangere a un funerale o come si dice ti amo in un certo contesto, quindi diciamo che eh, solo oggi mi rendo conto di quanto sia stato cresciuto più dall'audiovisivo rispetto alle figure genitoriali come il professor di eccetera, quindi dobbiamo essere consapevoli di quello, cioè che è un mezzo ma è in realtà anche un mezzo che ci insegna com'è il mondo esterno. We have to recognize the fact that audiovisual nowadays is what is educating the younger generation, like a, like a, a parent figure. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in the same way it has taught generations to cry at funerals or to uh, say I love you to someone So yeah. it, it, it kind of has given, and I speak from personal experience, uh, an education and uh, with, this is something that has to be recognized, it, it can also be something positive. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It can be both positive and negative. Mm -hmm. I like your camera. Is that a digital camera or is that no, film? film? Wow! It's a panoramic uh, film. That's really nice. I, I used a camera like that in uh, high school, in photography mm -hmm. class. Is there a reason you like film? Not a lot of people still use film. Are you nostalgic? questo film con, con, con la pellicola perché in realtà è da dove insomma dove iniziato un po' gli studi. Yeah, it's it's kind of where I started because when I was going to school it was just ending, uh, you know, the uh, the old style of taking pictures and digital was just uh, starting. So we used to still develop in the dark room. Okay, and I did then that. we moved to to digital. So I have a very strong relationship with film. Uh, Do you like the smell of the chemicals in the dark yeah. room? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it feels good. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, do you do you have advice for kids today that maybe they should have kids young or they should not use their phone or what would you what advice would you give to teenagers? Qual è il tuo consiglio per i teenager di oggi che magari non devono usare troppo il telefono oppure dovrebbero essere genitori da giovani? Ma in realtà fare pace con con, con, i, con il tempo se vogliamo, cioè rendersi conto che facciamo parte tutti di, di un lungo dialogo e se abbiamo voglia di affermarci di trovare il modo anche positivo con cui, con cui fare parte di questo dialogo e quindi riconoscere quali sono i nostri strumenti se non li troviamo cercarli e, però che insomma ogni cosa ha il suo tempo. Yeah, to perhaps my best advice would be to be at peace with time. Mm. Um, we can all be part of this very long dialogue of existence in, in the world. Uh, if, we, if we want, we can find the tools to be part of this 
it's a long story. Yeah. Um, but uh, we obviously have to look for it and uh, it may take time, but then time heals everything and it, it will you know, yield the results that we're looking for sooner or later. That's good. So you're 31, that's pretty young, and you have a movie at TIFF. Do you feel like you're succeeding, like you're achieving the things you wanted to, or do you feel like you're falling behind and, and you're scared and you want to, you know? Sono, si, si, è capito, sì. e, diciamo, sono sicuramente un po' imbarazzato, ma perché il film è stato realizzato in maniera estremamente casalinga, con tanti coetanei, e quindi riuscire a portarlo così tanto appunto anche a Venezia, anche tutti i premi che abbiamo ricevuto nei giorni eh, passati è qualcosa che anzi un po' imbarazza, come se ci fosse quasi un'invasione improvvisa della privacy in cui siamo ancora a casa ed entrano migliaia di persone, quindi è, è come se fosse una grande festa inaspettata, quindi è allo stesso tempo eh, spaventoso ma anche divertente. Um, so I'm very humbled by this whole experience, uh, considering that uh, we just got a prize in Venice yesterday. Wow! Uh, so, um, and now we've had the screening here. Yeah. It has felt like uh, from something that's really homemade with a small team of uh, people of my own age yeah. uh, who worked on this very intimate project and suddenly there's like an invasion of privacy <laughs> oh now you're famous <laughs> that has happened yeah. with thousands you know knowing what i had come up with and had been working on wow. something behind closed doors for so long so it's scary but fun at the same time well congratulations your publicist just said hey uh, wrap it up so that's uh, that's our time but if you ever need uh, a Canadian who looks like this for your next movie <laughs> I could I could act in it <laughs> si, si, I will si, learn Italian si, too si, 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 si. all right thank you so much thank you thank how do you say it grazie 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 thanks Ciao.